Hello everyone and welcome back. On this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a talking synth sound with Retrolog. We're going to explore the different filter types, the distortion types, and we're going to create some awesome sounds. Let's get started. So as always, we're going to start with an initialized instance of Retrolog 2. And I'm going to show you some techniques that allow you to create these really interesting talking sim sounds. And maybe we can also create some wobble sounds later on. But the main thing that you have to do before you even start is get an ultra rich sound out of your oscillators. So that's what we're going to do here with Retrolog. So I'm going to go and select a pulse width oscillator right here. So. That's really nice. And I'm going to select another oscillator and do exactly the same thing. But maybe I can add a different shape value. And why don't we go and add a sub as well? So I'm going to turn on my sub and I'm going to make it as rich as possible. Maybe I'll keep it in pulse. So that's very, very rich, but because it's so rich, I'm overloading a little bit. So I'm going to go a little bit lower with my oscillators like that. Now that I have enough headroom, I can move on to the filter section and start playing with my filters. So let's get started. What should I do? I'm going to try and create this talking sound using just the filters and the distortion algorithm right here. So the filter that I'm going to select in this case is the combination of high pass 6 and low pass 18 filter. And this sounds like this. Actually, let me assign this to my controller right here so that we can play with it in real time. And you can already hear that there's a little bit of a vowel sound to this filter. It's a very, very nice filter. Now let's try and play with the envelope, right? So basically what I want to do is set this to a certain point. And now I'm going to play with my envelope. And in this case, because it's a high pass and low pass filter, I'm going to give it a negative value. So let's try this. And let's move the cutoff like that. So you can hear that we already have this. Kind of vowel sound. Now the trick is to play with the distortion right here. So if I use a chip distortion. It sounds really nice, but it's not what we want. So what I want to choose in this case is the rate algorithm right there, which introduces aliasing, and this will completely transform the sound. Check it out. And just like that, you have a talking synth right there. And as you can see, even by turning the distortion parameter just a tiny bit, I can get so many different sounds. Check it out. It's like I'm changing the format right there. So a bigger throat or like a kid. I think that's a sweet spot for me. And of course now I can make it talk with the envelope right there. Or I can make it go. Or I can make it go. For example, if I so if I turn the decay a little bit down and make the attack a little bit quicker. So you can basically transform this however you want. You can make it faster, you can make it slower, just by playing with the filter envelope. Let's... Yeah. 
that sounds good to me. Now let's try and introduce a wobble to the sound. So in order to do that, it's actually very, very simple. I can go to my matrix right here and maybe I can use LFO1. Let's assign LFO1 as a source and maybe assign my cutoff as a destination. And let's see how this sounds. <laughs> And now I have a wobble right there. And because I can change the frequency, now, of course, I can make the sound a little bit more interesting by introducing a random wave to my LFO. So I can create a very, very complex sound just by using one LFO my filters and my envelopes. So of course, I can say I want to assign this to my mod wheel, of course. So now I can have control of when this randomizer comes in. Now, of course, if I want to add some finishing touches, I can go into my effects section and maybe add a chorus like this. You know, just make it a little bit thicker and maybe I want to add a little bit of EQ. Maybe add a little bit of low mids like this. And of course, I can still assign the distortion parameter to one of my controllers right here, and I can move between the different formats. <laughs> And of course I can turn the sound into mono. And maybe I also want to turn it into legato. And let's see how this sounds. Or maybe I want to go back into... Into sine wave. So in basically no time we can create a very interesting sound using just the filters in Retrolog. Hope you enjoyed this video, have fun with Retrolog, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.